Good morning, YouTube listeners. This is Sharon. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today, I'm going to be discussing the continuation of angels and how angels work. I'm taking it from the book of Sec 2 Samuel 24, verse 1. I'm just going to read the entire chapter so you understand what's going on. And again, the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And he moved David against them to say, Go number Israel and Judah. For the king said to Joab, the captain of the host, which was with him, Go now through all the tribes of Israel, from Dan even to Beersheba, and number you the people, that I may know the number of the people. And Joab said unto the king, Now the Lord thy God add unto the people, how many so soever they be, a hundredfold, and that thy eyes of my lord the king may see it. But why doth my lord the king delight in this thing? So he's asking him, why do you want to number how many people that you have in the land? Notwithstanding the king's word, the king's word prevailed against Joab and against the captains of the host. And Joab and the captain of the host went out from the presence of the king, King David, to number the people of Israel. And they passed over Jordan and pitched in Aroah, and on the right side of the city that lieth in the midst of the river of Gad and toward Jazar. Then they came to Gilil, Gilid, and to the land of Tatim Hadshi, and they came to Dashjan and about to Zidon, and came to the stronghold of Tyre and to all the cities of the Hivites and of the Canaanites, and they went out to the south of Judah, even to Beersheba. So when they had gone through all the land, they came to Jerusalem at the end of nine months and 20 days. It took them nine months and 20 days to count the people. And Joab gave up the sum of the number of the people unto the king. And there were in Israel 800,000 valiant men that drew the sword. And the men of Judah were 500,000. And David's heart smote him after that he had numbered the people. And David said unto the Lord, I have sinned greatly in that I have done this. And now I beseech you, Lord, take away the iniquity of thy servant, for I, for I have done very foolishly. For when David was up in the morning, the word of the Lord came unto the prophet God. So the prophet came to David, and he was his seer to speak to him. Go and say unto David, Thus saith the Lord, I offer you three things. Choose one of them that I may do it unto thee. Because now he's in trouble with the Lord. So the prophet has given him three choices. So Gad came to David and told him and said unto him, Shall seven years of famine come unto thee in thy land? Or wilt thou flee three months before thy enemies while they pursue thee? Or that there be three days of pestilence in the land? Now advise and, and, now advise, advise and see what answer I shall return to him that sent me. So the Lord gave him three punishments to choose from. Seven years of famine, three months of running from your enemy, or three days of pestilence in the land. And David said unto God, I am in a great strait. Let us fall now in the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great. And let not me fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent pestilence upon Israel from the morning evening to the time appointed, and there died of the people from Dan, even to Beersheba, 70,000 men. And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord repented him, meaning he changed his mind of the evil, and said to the angel that destroyed the people, it is enough, now stay thy hand. And the angel of the Lord was by the threshing place of Arana, the Jebusite. So here we have the angel that was sent out by the instructions of God to destroy the people. And the Lord changed his mind and said, okay, angel, stop. Because the Lord sends angels to do his bidding. He sends angels to do his job. Remember, he's the creator of heaven and earth, the great I am. He's the king of kings and lord of lords. He's the God of everything. He created angels. He's not going to come down 
but he told the angels to go and destroy because he gave David three choices and J David chose. Angels are at work. God sends his angels to do his bidding. There is nothing that happens on the earth. You, you, you think that God did not know that David was going to do this? Of course he did. God knows the beginning, the end, the future, the past, the present. He knows everything, but he gives us choices. He gives us choices. Okay? And even if you make a mistake, just like the Lord repented, God repented and said, Okay, angel, hold your... Hold your Hold it right there. Don't kill anymore. The angel of death is who he sent. Okay? Again, I will continue the teaching of angels. Okay? This is an angel that went out to do the bidding of the Lord God, the creator of heaven and earth. Because of one man's disobedience. Thank God we're under the covenant of grace. Thank God we're under the covenant of the New Testament. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross. Because when the father looks at the mercy seat, he sees the blood of Jesus that was poured on the mercy seat to stay the wrath of God from his people, okay? The blood of Jesus isn't just to pour all the, I plead the blood of Jesus on my head. No, Jesus did that for you when he poured his blood on the mercy seat. So when Jesus, when the father gets angry, he looks at the mercy seat and he, rem he sees Jesus' blood. And his hand is stayed because he sees the blood of Jesus and what salvation brings to the people of the world. I thank you for subscribing. I thank you for sharing. Please go back and read 2 Samuel chapter 24, 4, verse 1 to 16 and see the angel of the Lord in action. Have a great day. Tomorrow I'll continue some more teachings on angels. Be blessed.